What's up, everybody? I'm your girl, Nicole Simpson, and you are checking out the power of gospel. We are coming live from Nashville, Tennessee, the 2009 Stella Awards. I don't know who's getting ready to walk this red carpet, but you don't want to miss the livest interviews, what's going on in the artist's lives, and who's walking away with the gold. Hey, Terrell Hunt is about to come on the red carpet and we're going to um, just talk to him for a moment. For those of you that don't know, he's the new artist of the year and of course we did have him exclusively on the power of gospel and so I'm so excited because this will be the first time we can put a name with the face. I am so excited to have you actually on because you called into the power of gospel and and I told you that you reminded me of Stephen Hurd and you just oh thought that was such a tremendous compliment. Yes, but yes. that has been almost a year ago. Now we're standing on the red carpet uh, and you're the new artist of the year. How does that feel? I am overwhelmed and overjoyed with excitement. I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of bubbling over. It didn't really hit me until I actually got here to share it in that Nashville. And so I'm really excited about what God is doing. I'm excited for all the artists who are in the category. I'm excited about everybody who is on the ballot because everybody has, is, is so um, deserving of the recognition. I'm so excited to be in the number. Now you said that your priority is worship, yes. you know, and so do you feel that the time that you spent with the Lord has led to this moment? Absolutely, because I realize that God is the lifeline um, to everything that I do, everything that I am, and I believe that God has been the only one that has kept me rooted and grounded. And so my time that I've spent with Him has led me here to this place today. Now listen, I need to I need to get a copy of uh, you of know this? I, I we got to see this has it. caused more excitement tonight than anything that I have <laughs> that I have ever worn. And you but are it's always the right a time and right place. Yeah, I was going to say. And now, mind you, uh, you all have always been a very sharp dresser. Oh, really? You know, I, I've been to the industry <laughs> retreat. I know the suits that you, you know? wear. When we see you on TV, you look phenomenal. So Thank I'm just you. saying this is just, you know, it's, it's time for it. But I just want you to talk about, Ambassador, your passion for education. There is a passion of mine. I'm glad you know that. Because, you know, the mind has to be developed so that we can understand how to function at various levels. Mm -hmm. And if you have an undeveloped mind, then that's going to be a quagmiring experience, regardless of what it is that we do. So education is that conduit in and order to get us to that, in, to that state. And you take a lot of time with up-and-coming up artists, mm -hmm. rising talent, and you can see a lot of the fruit of the labor mm. at the Stella Awards now. Mm -hmm. How does it feel when you sit back in the audience and you watch many people that you gave an opportunity to through the industry retreats that you have, through the teachings of bringing all of the elect together? How does it make you feel? Well, I don't really have time to focus on that. I'm so into seeing what's happening on okay, stage. That's okay. You know, and I'm just saying, well, thank you, Jesus. This group, I remember when they came on and and look at them today and it makes you feel kind of proud that you had something to do with helping them to get where they are so yeah it's a very father-like feeling you know <laughs> i can only imagine now, I, I must you know i must declare the fact that if it weren't for you mm. with the longest gospel show no the longest morning, running show the longest running show in the history in the history there would be no power of gospel yeah that's if it true. weren't for you oh thank so you say, thank you because oh, my goodness. you serve as inspiration for those of us that are trying to get where doctor ambassador Bobby Jones. Introduce yourselves to the power of gospel. We are the Frontliners Hip Hop Group nominated for Hip Hop Award of the Year. I know that that must be phenomenal for you because hip hop wasn't always recognized and so this is just a great opportunity. What, what's going through your hearts and your minds right now? Man, we're just excited to be here. You know, we thank God for it. It's, it's, it's really a blessing to be here today, it really is. Well, you're definitely walking the red carpet. Enjoy the event. Are you going to perform at any time over the weekend? Uh, we did perform last night at Urban Soul Cafe. Um, but right now, we're just going to relax and enjoy the Stellars and support everybody else that's here as well. Now, look, Jay Reed is having his picture taken, and I know he's not going to act like he don't know the power of gospel, so I'm going to snatch him up right now, because if he didn't come over here on the power of gospel, I was going to tell Deirdre on him. What's oh, up, Jay? How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm doing well. Now, this is the power of gospel. I know okay. you know you're seeing everybody on the red carpet and all this stuff. Now, Jay and I went back and forth. <laughs> now, he had to tell the power of gospel like a million times. He was sorry, but because he has such a phenomenal song, Anointed Me, we let him slide on that. What's going on, Jay? I'm just excited to be here, living the best days of my life. What about you? Well, I'm excited as well. And listen, in your song, it was really prophetic because you knew God anointed you for such a time as this. Did you ever think that it was going to be what it is today at the cellar? Never, ever imagined. I, I, it, it, it was such an awesome thing because 
I didn't even expect to be nominated. So, I mean, it's just when it's your time, it's your time. And well, so. you are certainly one that can say that, and you put it out there prophetically, and that's something about going forward. You know God has called for you to do. Jay, I expect great things out of you, and Thank if you, you didn't come over here, I was going <laughs> to tell Deirdre on you on the power of gospel. We'll definitely chat before the if we can exactly. Please do. Please okay. do. Thank Very you. Sweet, okay. It's been so long. How are well, you? God bless you. I'm doing God well. And it's the power of gospel. Just in case you don't remember, it's been a minute since we've seen each other. All right. Yes. yes. All right. Let me tell you, okay, next year at the 25th Annual Stella Awards, I'm just going to get a chair. I know they're not even going to know who I am. Put it on the stage because every year when Byron Cage comes in the building, he walks home with one of those. Well, you know, the Lord is good. <laughs> the Lord is good. He's, he's been very, very faithful. And, you know, we thank the Lord for the awards. You know, that's a very nice accolade of people appreciating you. But I'm just thankful that if I'm pleasing in the eyesight of the Lord, if I'm doing his will, he said he would just um, even make your enemies have to be at peace with you and everything that we go through and deal with in life. If we just trust in him, seek him first, and everything that we do, he'll add things like stellars and provision. He'll just add things into your life. So Now, you do stay focused on the work. And I Absolutely. remember the first time we, we had an opportunity to meet, you said whatever avenue and whatever door God opens, mm -hmm. I'm willing to walk mm -hmm. through the door. Mm -hmm. You know, do you feel that you, you've you mm -hmm. done all that you believe God has called for you to do thus mm -hmm. far? Mm -hmm. I, be, I believe that wherever the Lord has to take it. It has not stopped yet. Amen. There's still some avenues, some places where he wants to go and he desires for me to go and to spread this gospel. Um, and whatever that is, I'm just open to the yield, to be a yielded vessel that he might do great and mighty exploits for the gospel's sake. 2009, what new thing, if any, can we expect from Byron Cage? Well, we're, we're recording our, our next CD live in Detroit at Second Ebenezer uh, Baptist Church, Amen. Bishop Edgar Van. It's going to be tremendous time. My, my special guest on the record this time with me are Pastor Marvin Sapp, Amen. Pastor Marvin Winans, and Ty Tribbett. So Amen. we're going to have a great time in Jesus. All roads lead to Detroit, March the 13th. This is my heart right here, Vanessa <laughs> Bell Armstrong. I know she ain't part of this interview, but I'm over on this interview. That's all right. Oh, we're talking oh, Vanessa Bell Armstrong as well. Byron, it is such, so, a, it's such a pleasure to have you on the Power you. of Gospel. You're God always been a faithful you. guest, and I appreciate you always giving us time. We'll see you soon. Praise the Lord. Now, I don't know where that soon is going to be, but we'll see you soon. Real soon. I know that's right. Well, John, John, how are you? Doing wonderful. How are you? I'm doing well. Now, we'll bring you to the Red Carpet Stella Award Affair. Oh, this, uh, this um, for the awards that are done for, um, I'm going to present an award for uh, Stronger for Myron Butler and Levi, oh, and I produced that. Amen. Just a record, yes. I like that song. You like it? Yes. Yeah, so glad that, you did. What was the inspiration behind that? Oh, God just inspired me, and He just uh, brought the creative ideas, and I did it in the studio, and I just created it. And gave me the. the uh, I just started messing around with it, and then I just put it down on the wax. And Myra loved it. He said, "I want that record," so I just gave it to him. And, it must be phenomenal to hear your yeah. music being played and touching the lives of yeah. so many other people. Yes, it I is. can't even imagine what that would feel I, I like. Just you continue doing what you're doing. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. None other than John John. Okay, you know what? It's not always the easiest thing when you don't know the people that's on the red carpet, but we found out a little bit about John John. I'm just saying, you know? You never know who the creative genius is behind the music that we are listening to from day to day.